Pops Tipsters. Well, today we're just gonna do Q's and A's. You send in some Q's and I'm gonna try to give some A's, okay? Hey there, just a quick interruption just to let you know that uh, as many of you know, I wrote this book here, The Triangle of the Scene. Um, all the links for that are in the description down below. But I have just released a second edition, as you can see here, second edition of the Kindle book. And you can get that by going to Manage My Kindle on the, uh, on the Amazon Kindle store. And I've also, as you can tell, released a hard copy or a paperback version of the book. So if you wanna get that, uh, the, the, use basically the same link to get to it in searching Amazon and I've also registered it with what is called the Kindle matchbook program so if you buy the hard copy or the paperback version here then you can get the Kindle version for a dollar ninety nine that's it that's all my self-promotion for today back to the tip here we go the first one is sent in by Mary Collins she says how do I find opportunity opportunities to play or perform well I think I have a few different ideas the first is obviously get hooked up with an established theater and or school um, if you take a class and ordinarily there you sort of can get it sort of into the mix and and either um, that class will have a performance opportunity but at, at or, or the theater will have some performance opportunities, but at the very least, you can meet some like-minded people and that will sort of move you in that direction. And the, moving into the second uh, answer is, you can start talking to those people and say, well, where do you perform? Or have you heard about any pl places or chances to perform? And also check out the Facebook and see if there's any sort of um, improv meetups in your area. I know those are sort of coming on uh, pretty strong and people are getting together and and, it, and even if the meetup isn't your thing, you can meet some people and maybe they can steer you in the right direction or maybe you meet some people that, that you want to work with or play with in the future. That's that's a great way to go. Um, and then the, the third thing is really kind of what I think a lot of people are doing is if, they, if you're having a hard time finding a place to play or perform, then you are probably not the only one and you maybe have a chance to open up that niche and open up that area and opportunity and 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 and, and be the impresario <laughs> that, that maybe you were destined to be so and you see need, need a space you just need a few people and a space you can do it at a at a college or a high school or a or a church or a bar or a um you know, all these different places. It just takes a little bit of sort of outgoing energy to find that and make that opportunity. And believe you me, everyone who I've talked to who has done that, once you start the ball rolling, a million people come out of the woodwork to help you or to perform or to sort of to, to, to get that thing going. Because they have that same want, but they may have not taken that step <clears throat> to, to fulfill that want or to make that thing come true. Okay, um, the second question that Mary sent in was, uh, how do I approach house team auditions and find or perform, uh, find or form an indie team? Well, I've sort of answered the second part a little bit. To find or form an indie team, a meetup or a school is a great place to go. Um, just start talking to like-minded people. I think ordinarily it's like finding people that you want to work with, like people that you want to work with, you want to sort of struggle with and sort of get through the, the tricky times and to make the team better. And that you have like similar or common values of, of what is that you want to do. I think that's really important when you're forming or becoming part of an, of an indie team. Now, as far as like Herald team auditions or house team auditions, um, I think that sort of, you know, living in LA, we have a lot of sort of thoughts and feelings about, about auditions, but the number one thing is, the people who are watching the audition or conducting the audition, they want you to be good. They want you to be the person that they're looking for. All right, so that should take away some of the some of the anxiety because they're not there to judge you. They're not there to like, oh gosh, here comes another terrible person, or whatever. They want you to be good. They are really at a level. <clears throat> rooting for you. Um, and the second thing I, I would sort of recommend is when you're doing a, a house team audition or any sort of improv audition, try to, um, try to just remember the basics. Yes and make your partner look good. I think a lot of times in improv auditions, people try to showboat and they want to show how funny they are, right? But I, I, I thought a lot about this. I think that if you're showboating and trying to show how funny you are and you get picked, then guess what? You're on a team or involved with an organization that wants people who showboat and try to show how funny they are. Right, but if you play by the basics and you get picked, then you're going to be involved with the with the with the organization that wants that kind of play. And if you don't get picked, then then you don't want to be part. I mean, if they are looking for showboats and you're playing good basics and really as a good giving improviser, then you don't really want to be a part of that anyway, right? It's I think a lot of improv or a lot of endeavors is just finding like-minded people that you want to work with that have common values and and we're all sort of striving towards common things. Okay. So, Mary, and all the viewers out there, uh, if you have something to add to Mary's questions, please post it down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think, and I'll see you next week. 
Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please leave me a comment down below and tell me what you would like to hear an improv tip about. And also, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All the links are in the description down below. Thanks.